Hey Taurus, happy November. This is your Astro Tarot reading for the month of November. And let me tell you, it's going to be about money. The focus will be on money for you this month. And I know that's something that you can totally appreciate, Taurus. Absolutely. But before things start focusing on money, there's going to be a few things happening because we have Saturn. Saturn, the planet of discipline, the planet of organization, the planet of career is going to be in your house of hopes, wishes, and dreams. What does this mean? That means that something that you've been wanting to happen, some goal that you've been trying to figure out how to make it happen is going to move forward and open the doors for you to take the lead in making a goal happen, making a dream happen, and also creating a better social structure of people who will inspire you to give you information and support what your goals are. You are going to surround yourself, redefine your social circle. You are going to keep your eyes on people who are loyal, who are supportive of you, and get rid of your frenemies and people that you know are not really in your corner. You're going to be making some very, very select moves when it comes to getting the support that you need when it comes to people so that you can move to a higher level and gain the support and the inspiration from those who will inspire you to push forward. Absolutely. And on the 8th, on the 8th, we have Venus, your ruler. Venus, your ruler is going to be entering into your house of work, your house of employment. So we know that Venus, your ruler, represents love, but it also represents money. Yes. So you're going to be thinking about financial opportunities on the job, better relationships with your co-workers, aligning yourself with the people who are on the know. There could be a possible possibility of a new job, a promotion, or a raise on your job, and you are all there for it. Yes. But I have my four decks of tarot cards, and let's see what the first message is for you this month, Taurus. What is the first message for you? The first message is the masculine. The masculine. When we're talking about the masculine, we are talking about the planet Mars. The planet Mars. And so the masculine means to move forward and be assertive when it comes to getting the things that you want. And you know what? This is going to come to, to, to your usefulness after the 10th. And when after the 10th, the 22nd, and the 24th, on the 24th, Mars will enter into your house of money. But we will talk about that a little later because right now it's about, you know, harnessing your skills and pushing forward and not allowing any petty things to get in your way. Oh, no. And on the 13th, on the 13th, we have the new moon. The new moon is going to be in your house of love. Well, what does that mean? That means that you can take another direction in love. Your focus will be on making something brand new in love. If you are in an existing relationship, you may want to do something different to spice things up. You know, if you don't have a love, then you are going to be opening the doors for something brand new to happen. Also, you know, you had an eclipse um, last month regarding your love situation. Well, regarding you in terms of what it is that you need to make yourself happy. And that also has some emphasis on love. So right now you will have an x-ray vision in your partnership and the question will be what new direction do you take regarding your love life absolutely and let's just see i got my second deck of tarot cards and let's see what the second message is for you taurus let's see what the second message is that second message is um naked it says dare to bear all well i tell you what dare to bear all sometimes when you are in a situation especially a love situation, you may need somebody to let somebody know exactly what it is that you want, that you are not afraid to seek the truth, look for the truth, and you want to know that them to know exactly your needs and your wants. Let get a little, let's get a little clarity on this card. What is it that you need to tell somebody, tell somebody to let them know? Well, I'll tell you one thing, that you are definitely a person of inspiration and creativity and that you don't have to wait on anyone. You know, you are about a person who takes their life in their own hands and you are not stuck. Nothing, you know, nothing frustrates you that you're going to move forward regardless if you get what you want from a certain love situation or not. Let's get a little bit more clarity on this card. A little bit more clarity on this card. And let's just see what else that you may need to tell somebody. And that you, wow, something wonderful is coming your way regarding love. Oh, yes. Something wonderful is coming your way regarding love. This is fabulous. This is fabulous. But I do know that on the 10th, 
Mercury, the planet of communication, the planet of analytical abilities, the planet of mm, thinking is going to be in your house of finances. What does that mean for you? What does that mean for you? That means that your mind is going to be on your money, trying to figure out ways of getting more money, getting more information about how to you know, increase your money. You're going to be restructuring your management. You're going to get, uh, you know, uh, get a budget. You are going to figure out how to save more money. You may decide to seek out some professional uh, advice about investments. You may open a for, uh, you know, an IRA or some other means of saving money for the long distance, for your long distance future. Absolutely. And on the 22nd, let me just say, Mercury will not be by itself because the sun is going to enter into your house of money. Money, the sun brings growth and prosperity. Wow. New investments for the future will definitely be coming your way. You know, you can uh, have a partnership to make money. You may enter into a partnership, like a financial partnership. You may decide to take some uh, investment classes, take some, uh, you know, get some information, you know, talk to a friend that invests and see what they are doing. But remember, we were talking about that masculinity card that turned up earlier. Well, here we go. Mars is going to be in what? Your house of finances. You are going to be aggressive about taking things regarding your money and turning them around. Absolutely. Turning them around. Okay. And I have my third deck of tarot cards. And let's just see what the message is for you. What is the third message for you, Taurus? The third message is simply love. Wow. Well, simple love. Simply, simply love. And that means if you got some sort of situation, you know, another thing, this is regarding a family membership. Family, a fam, like a, a family, family member. Somebody in your family might need some affection, a call, some consideration to show them some love, show them some affection, show them some appreciation. Is there someone in your family that has been neglected that you haven't talked to in a while? This is a really good time to get in touch with them and let them know that you are sending them love. Let's get some clarity on this card. You know, who might this be? What might this be? And let's see, and it is definitely, well, there could be an elderly female in your life right now that you haven't talked to in a while that may need for you to call them and check on them and see if there is anything that they need or anything that you can do for them. Oh, yes. And on the 27th, we got a full moon. That full moon is in your house of income. We have talked a lot about money for you this month. Venus, your ruler, enters into your house of employment and opens the door for some better things to happen with your money, possibly a new job. From the 10th until the 24th, Mars, the sun, and Mercury is in your house of financial investments, future money, managing your money. And then on the full moon, on the 27th, what happens? The full moon goes into your house of income, how you earn your money, how you increase your money. Now, full moons always bring some sort of enlightenment. It brings something you haven't been noticing. Something may be hidden about how you are earning your money. Something may be going on on the job that you don't know about. Or there could be an opportunity that you never considered about how to make more money and it's going to be coming your way. Absolutely. And I have my fourth deck of tarot cards. Let's see what the fourth message is for you. What is the fourth message for you, Taurus? The fourth message is GPS, G intuition. This is regarding your intuition. What is going on? Remember that full moon is going to be in your house of income. Full moons bring information. Use more of your instincts when it comes to what's going on with your job. You know, somebody may be doing something on the job to undermine you, to mess with your money. Let's get a clarity card on this. Let's see what the clarity cards are suggesting regarding your intuition. Oh, be careful. Stay clear of a fight or an argument around your work situation, financial situations. Someone is going to irritate the hell out of you and cause you to want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, confront them. And let's get one more clarity card. And the card is, but guess what? They can't harm you. You're going to get what you want. This is the Nine of Cups. This is one of the best cards in the deck. It means dreams come true. Dreams come true. You're going to get what you want. And whatever it is, they will not be undermined by anybody on that job. So listen, Taurus, this has been your Astro Tarot reading for the month of November. And if you'd like to know what else is going on in your chart, you can contact me at KimAllen.com. That is KimAllen.com.